Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Dat Destroyer and the Orgoman products. I am here with Professor Lewis Blois. He's a mathematician and he's going to go over some word problems to help you on the Dat and the Ode exam. Okay, these are ratio and proportion problems and I'm going to do three of them. Let's look at this first one. On a certain map, three-eighths of an inch represents 60 miles. Question, how many miles does one and three-quarter inch represent? Okay, what we want to do is set up a ratio and proportion. And let's be explicit as to what the ratio is going to be. Let's set up a ratio of inches to miles. And once that's established, we will use that as the pattern for the rest of the problem. Now, uh, three inches, three-eighths of an inch represents 60 miles. So we have the fraction three-eighths of an inch uh, is to 60 miles. This is going to be in the same proportion as other uh, measurements on the map. How many miles does one and three-quarter inches represent? Well, we're going to put inches in the numerator mile and figure out what miles is in the denominator. Uh, instead of converting to decimals, it's easier to use fractions. If you have an opportunity to stay with fractions, it's uh, often is much quicker. Uh, so this is going to be one times four is four, plus three is seven, seven fourths. So this is seven fourths of an inch, seven fourths. And we want to know how many miles, so in the denominator we replace x. So three eighths is to 60 as seven fourths is to x. How do we solve this? Everybody's favorite mathematical algebraic technique cross multiplication. So we have 3 eighths x equals 7 fourths times 60. And instead of multiplying 7 fourths times 60, it's good to leave the calculations unfinished until we have everything uh, evaluated. We want to multiply both sides by 8 thirds, 8 thirds, and we'll get the solution x is equal to 7 fourths times 8 thirds times 60, and we see that 4 goes into 8 twice, 3 will go into 60 20 times, so we have 7 times 2 is 14, 14 times 2 is 28, and times 10 is 280. Okay, so very straightforward, once we've established this ratio, inches to miles. Second question, how many inches represents 100 miles? Same thing, inches to miles. We have, we're given that 3 eighths of an inch represents 60 miles. This time, we're looking for the number of inches. And in the denominator, we'll put our 100 miles, and I'll put the variable A to represent the number of inches. Once again, cross multiplication, bada bing, bada bang. So we have 60A is equal to 100 times 3 eighths. And we'll divide both sides by 60 to get 3 eighths, 3 goes into 60 20 times, 20 goes into 100 5 times, and this leaves us with 5 eighths of an inch. Okay, 5 eighths of an inch is, that's what we're looking for. Very similar problem, let's take a look at this third one. A man can paint 3 fifths of a house in 4 days. How much more time does he need to finish the job if he continues to paint at the same rate? All right, what we're going to do is percent or, or fraction, of a, fraction of a house over number of days. And that's the standard ratio we're going to use throughout this problem to evaluate the proportion. So it's three-fifths of a house is to four days as to uh, what? How many days to finish the entire house? That's what we're trying to find out, how many days. Now, if the question were, how long will it take him to complete the a full house, we would put one in this numerator. But that's not the question. The question is, how, many more, how much more time does he need to finish the house? Well, if he's finished three-fifths of the house, what fraction is left to, to paint? Two-fifths. So that's the fraction we're going to put up here, two-fifths. And there is our proportion. Three-fifths is to four, as two-fifths is to x. How much more time will he need to finish the, uh, the house? Let's do cross multiplication, and we'll get 3 fifths x equals 2 fifths times 4. Uh, multiply both sides by 5 thirds, right? 2 fifths times 4 times 5 thirds. The 5s will cancel, 
and we have two times four is eight over three, and that will be equal to two and two thirds days. Okay, and there we are. That's how long he'll need to finish the job. Okay, excellent problem. <clears throat> Hopefully you took away some good knowledge on that question on how to go about the mechanics to do these problems. All right, I'll see you in study group. Good day to you.